Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I always said to myself, I'm never going to do a YouTube channel. And then I found Blessed Bee, PJ, on YouTube and just fell in love with her. Um, I'm actually going to link her vlog below so that you can fall in love with her too. But what she did was really um, inspire me to create my own vlog. So here I am. And I'm going to introduce myself to you today, and then we're going to talk about some uh, New Year's witchy things that you can do that aren't necessarily New Year's resolutions, um, because it's New Year's Day. Yay! January 1, 2016. So that's the first day of my blog. blog. I'm Jenna, and I am a hearth witch, which you might have noticed from the name of my channel. And I'm going to go into a lot of detail about hearth witchery, what I think it is, how I practice, and how you can practice if this is a path that really, you know, appeals to you. Um, but that is a, a video for another day. So we'll start with me. Um, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I've been here for 15 years, which seems crazy, um, but true. I live in a... Let's see, at this point, it's a 110, 115 year old Victorian farmhouse right on the coast. I live about a block and a half from the Pacific Ocean. So it's not a bad gig, really. Um, I actually work in San Francisco proper. So my little town is about 15, 20 minutes away from San Francisco. I take the train in every day. I go to work at a bank. It's great. I, I love the people that I work with. It's just always a little weird because you're like, I'm a witch and I work at a bank. Anyhow, um, so I've been practicing witchcraft for, oh gosh, like, I can't even tell you, really. It started mostly with tarot cards and a little bit here and there, you know the story. Um, I do not consider myself Wiccan. I consider myself a little bit of everything. I've tried voodoo, I've tried Asatru, which is northern paganism, um, tried a little bit of everything and now I'm getting older and I'm like whatever I'll just do whatever I want so that's me not all that exciting but um what is exciting is that we have a new year and I'm glad because 2015's hot really bad I mean, since, I mean it's not like I'm you know living on the streets or anything I, I recognize how how lucky I am but yeah it sucked so See ya, 2015. Wouldn't want to be ya. Um, so now we're in 2016, and I am determined that this year is going to be better. So, there are three things I'm going to talk to you guys about. Um, the first is what I call a list, and I'm going to scratch my eyes, so sorry. Um, so, I do this actually on New Year's Eve, and I've done this for probably 10 years now. Um, but you, you've still got time, so I recommend that you pick up a pen and grab a piece of paper and write a list of 25 things you accomplished in 2015. Now, this isn't a gratitude list. We're going to talk about gratitude in a minute, but this, these are things that you did, things that you accomplished. Not someone gave you or someone did for you, but something you did. And you need to get to 25. You have to get to 25. And so... Before you even open your mouth to say, but Jenna, I, can't, I didn't do 25 things in 2015. Yes, you did. I promise you. They don't have to be big fancy things. They don't have to be, I lost 50 pounds, or I'm at the love of my life. Or you, they don't have to be that. And I think sometimes we fall into the trap of thinking only these huge things are our accomplishments. But small things, you know, you made a new friendship. You um, got through a really difficult project at work. Sometimes just getting through the year is an accomplishment. So write that down. Um, some of the things on my list this year were I rescued a cat. And she had major behavioral problems at the beginning of the year. And now she's a sweetheart. Took a lot of work, but I consider that an accomplishment. Um, I was in a short story contest this year. I received... I made it to the finals for my flash fiction, and I made honorable mention for my short story. Those are accomplishments. Um, 
Did a lot of remodeling on the house. I built a little pub in the backyard. Yeah, seriously. All of those go on my list. So take a minute and write down 25 things that you did. And you will find that you accomplished way more in 2015 than you actually think that you did. I promise that you will. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, let's talk about gratitude. So now that you've made your list and you've got an idea that, you know, things weren't as bad as you thought they were, and you actually did get a lot done last year, what are you grateful for? Now you can do this as a meditation, you can do this as a list. If you're a writer, you can write that down. Um, you know, but think about the things that you're grateful for. Now, uh, there, there are certain things that are going to top your list. Family, home, I've got a good job, whatever. But also think about some of the other things that um, make your life special. So a couple of things that I think about. Um, number one, I'm very grateful for Facebook. That sounds crazy, especially because I have this teeny tiny, carefully edited Facebook circle. I don't just throw out friend invitations to anyone. Anyone who's on my list are people who I either am friends with or if I don't know them well or it's been a while since I have worked with them or something, it's because I like to know what's going on in their lives. And they're funny or they're, they're interesting. I mean, there's people that I worked with 10 years ago that if I didn't have Facebook, I would have fallen out of touch with them. But now they've become sort of a part of my life. Um, there's one woman, you know, that I worked with um, at one point. She, she's a single mom to probably the cutest baby I have ever seen. Not the whole, like, oh, my God, I don't want to see pictures of your baby. But, like, I can't wait to see pictures of her baby. And I would have never known that Rose existed without Facebook. So I'm grateful. Um, I'm grateful for, I don't have a car, so I actually take the bus every day to the train station and then in, into the city. And, you know, there are bus drivers there that are really, really kind and really just positive and happy to see me every morning. And they make my life a little bit better. So I'm grateful. So think about those things that you're grateful for and just take a moment to acknowledge to the universe, hey, there's all this abundance in my life. Look at what I accomplished in 2015. Look at all this stuff that I've got that you've given me, universe. Thank you. Okay, so everybody's got to do resolutions though, right? We've taken a moment to think about our accomplishments, about what we're grateful for, but what are we going to do in 2016? My recommendation is that you think about, instead of thinking about like, I'm going to lose weight this year, or I am going to stay on budget, you know, I'm not gonna tell you how resolutions never work, because you know that. You know how I know you know that? Because if you didn't, we would all be skinny, and we would have lots of extra money because we would have all stick, stuck to our budget last year. But we aren't, because we didn't. So think about what you wanna manifest, and make it something that's specific and measurable and time bound. So for instance, the room that I'm sitting in right now is a spare room that I have recently converted to my spiritual room. You can see a little bit behind me um, of some of the things that I've put out, but and I'll definitely do a video where I take you around the room, but the truth of the matter is it's pretty bare right now. And I thought about going out and buying a bunch of stuff but then I thought, why don't I do this? Why don't I put out to the universe, I'm looking for special things for this room to make this room the spiritual place that I want it to be as a part of my home. And um, that's what I want to manifest. That's what I want to focus on. So when I'm meditating, I'm going to be focusing on, hey, this, this is what I'm asking for. This is what I want. I want these things that are perfect for me and where I am on my path to come to me this year and fill this room. And I guarantee you, I will do a video at the end of the year and this room will be full of amazing and beautiful things and I'll show them to you. So those are the three things I want you to think about as we start 2016. Make a list of everything you accomplished in 2015. 
make make sure that you're thinking about all the things that you're grateful for and think about what you want to manifest think about something specific that you want to manifest in your life in 2016 <coughs> and then have a coughing fit because <coughs> those are always cool I'm so glad to be here on YouTube and I'm glad that you're here um, even if there's only one or two of you right now I am grateful for you and I look forward to spending more time with you.